Outside of Quebec City, on December 22nd, 1969, Miriam Bedar was born. She grew up here, living a worry-free childhood. At a young age, she began a hobby of figure skating that she pursued until the age of 12. During this time, she also participated in Army Cadets throughout her youth. Here, she was introduced and given the opportunity to compete in her first biathlon consisting of cross-country skiing and shooting. At the age of 14, she was motivated and determined to excel in what she put her mind to. She thrived in training drills and stood out amongst the other cadets. Acquiring such characteristics led her to win the Army Cadet League of Canada Centennial Awards as top female cadet. The time came when she was given the chance to make her biathlon debut by competing for her local relay team. She was 15 years old. Though she had never trained for this position, she took on the challenge. She wore the skis and oversized boots that she had borrowed, and the competition began. Unfortunately, the team came up short of winning. But fortunately for Canada, a soon-to-be Olympic medalist discovered her passion. During her remaining years as a cadet, she would train to compete in numerous biathlons. In 1987, she took part in the Canadian Junior Biathlon Championships, which resulted in her winning. Four years later, in 1991, Bedard would win a World Cup biathlon event, making her the first Canadian ever to do so. From here, she set herself the goal of going to the Olympics. Bedard trained herself leading up to her first ever Olympic event. This is because, up until the year she competed, women were not allowed to participate in the biathlon event, which led to a lack of trainers in her area. History was going to be made as women were about to compete in the first ever biathlon at the Olympics. At the end of the race, Miriam Bedar finished with bronze. She was the first North American athlete to ever win an Olympic medal at this event. Following this, in 1993, she won her first world championship. Here, she took home gold in the 7.5 kilometer race and silver in the 15 kilometer. Bedar was scratching the surface of her full potential, and in 1994, she would break through. At the Winter Olympics in Lillehammer, Norway, not noticing, she grabbed mismatched skis before the race. But this would not stop her from achieving her goal. Bedar finished with gold, not only in the 7.5 kilometers, but in the 15 kilometer race as well. At the age of 25, she had accomplished her dream in the sport she loved, winning gold. With the 1994 Olympics behind her, she was satisfied with the outcomes. She became the first Canadian woman to ever win two Olympic gold medals, and she was the only Canadian athlete to win an Olympic medal in the biathlon event. To add to her success, she became the only athlete in North America to win gold in Olympic biathlon, and to this day, she holds this record. Following her achievement, she was awarded with the Lou Marsh Trophy for top performance by a Canadian athlete, as well as the Velma Springstead Trophy for Best Canadian Female Athlete of the Year. Despite all the recognition during the Olympics, she continued to be rewarded outside of her sports career. In 1995, she gave birth to her daughter Maud. As expected, she took time off and stepped back from the extensive training to focus on her family. Although, it wasn't long before Bedar was back preparing for her next biathlon. With one year to go until the 1998 Olympics in Nagano, Japan, she was determined to make it, despite the multiple injuries and health problems she acquired while training. She once said, What drives me most is the passion I have for the sport. That's why I do it. When she made it, unfortunately she was not as successful as she was in 94. She completed her biathlon, finishing in 50th place. After the results of the 98 Olympics, Badara decided it was time to put away the skis and officially retire. Ensuing this, she was inducted into Canada's Sports Hall of Fame on November 4, 1998. Even though she retired, Miriam still wanted to be involved with the sport she loved. In 2004, she became Vice President for the International Biathlon Union Executive Board. Once again, she made history when she joined the board of eight people and she was the only female.